Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Food Inventory Adventures in Food. Our What's for Dinner videos come out every single Tuesday. So we are kicking off another week of What's for Dinner with semi-homemade pizzas. I had these crust on hand. You get two of them in a pack and I had um, mozzarella cheese in my fridge and I had um, Italian sausage and also some pepperoni as well and onions and I had pizza sauce. So um, Howard and I made our own individual pizzas. So I made mine first, so mine is hot out of the oven. And then when Howard's, com Howard's comes out of the oven, I'll make sure to show you his. But this is mine, I just have um, pizza sauce and then I also have mozzarella cheese, Italian sausage, uh, pepperoni and onions. So this is my pizza and I'll show you his as soon as it comes out of the oven. So here is Howard's pizza, hot out of the oven, and he has the pizza sauce on the bottom. He has mozzarella and he also added cheddar cheese. He has pepperoni, um, Italian sausage, he has onions, and then he added some additional um, pizza sauce on top of his pizza. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having a quick and simple meal from our pantry. Howard made dinner for us tonight. We are just having some beans and rice, um, and rice and beans. So um, Howard used these black beans from Kroger and then he just doctored them up. You can see some garlic in there. And then there's some other seasonings that he used. And then we are using this um, jasmine rice from our pantry. It's the microwavable kind. This is my plate, but Howard hasn't fixed his plate yet because he's with the baby, but he is going to add some avocado to his plate. He loves eating avocado with beans and rice. And so this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, for dinner tonight, we are having chicken sandwiches and crinkle cut fries. So the fries are from um, Walmart and I have these in my freezer and I just bake them in the oven. And then the chicken patties are from Aldi. We recently had these for the very first time and we really like them a lot. And so I just baked the patties in the oven as well. This is Howard's plate and I buttered and toasted our buns. And on his, he's added some tomato and avocado. I'm just eating mine plain with nothing on it, just the bun. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having big salads um, using these chicken bites that we got from Sam's a while back ago. I've talked about these before and neither Howard nor I are crazy about these, but we found that we can eat them on salads. If I chop them up, they're pretty good. So we finally finished this bag with this dinner salad. So we have um, lettuce, of course, and then I have the chopped up chicken bites and then I just boiled some eggs, so we're having that. And then for the cheese, this was in my freezer, so we're using that. Um, Howard is going to use this salad dressing, and then I'm going to be using this salad dressing. For a dessert, I decided to make some cookies. I had these in the pantry and wanted to use them, peanut butter cookies. All you do is add vegetable oil and water, that's it. Just takes a couple of minutes to make and bake. And so we're having peanut butter cookies for dessert. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having another meal from our pantry. I made a sausage Alfredo. Um, this is a new recipe that I tried out. So let me show you what you're gonna need for it. Just a few simple ingredients. You're going to need some smoked sausage that you're gonna slice up. And then you're just gonna pan fry the sausage until it's brown. And then you're going to add in two cups of heavy whipping cream to that. And then a teaspoon of uh, Creole seasoning or Cajun seasoning, whatever you happen to have. Uh, let it boil for a little bit. I let mine boil for about five minutes. And then you're going to add in um, a half a cup of Parmesan cheese right here, shredded Parmesan cheese. And then in the meantime, I forgot to mention, you're gonna wanna boil two cups of dry penne pasta, drain it, set it to the side. So once you have your mixture, you're just gonna add in the penne to that mixture and then stir it up. And then I added another half cup of Parmesan to that. And here it is. 
Howard and I just tried it out and we both really like it a lot. It's very tasty. For a side, we are just having some green beans and I just used some canned green beans tonight. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having something from our freezer and pantry. So from our freezer, we are having these Trader Joe's uh, shrimp burgers and I've had them in my freezer for a while, wanted to try them out. So you get four in a pack and they come vacuum sealed. Let me see if I can open for you guys. So here's what they look like. You get four in there and you cook them from frozen. And here's what they look like. Howard is having his on a burger. So there's a bun underneath there. Then he put cheese on there. He's planning on putting avocado. Um, there's a top of his um, hamburger bun. And then I made some stir fried broccoli to go with it. And then some pastaroni. We really like the sour cream and chives. And I'm having the same thing, except I'm just having just the shrimp burger, no bread. And of course, if you've been watching this channel, no avocado because I'm not a fan of that. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time.